Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of some Darius Jungle. We're gonna be playing him with the best hyper carry build today. I used to recommend Predator. Predator has been over nerfed though. So instead we have Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand with Nimbus, Celerity, Attack Speed, 80 and Armor. For our build, we're gonna be rushing down Yomus, Auto Attack into Q. You can start with Q or W. They both do uh, about the same. W is a little bit better of a start though. It's on a lower cooldown and it's an auto attack reset. Your Q does heal you though, to be fair. I should have gotten my word down before I backed off there. Anyways, Darius Jungle, pretty strong because his passive does 300% bonus damage against monsters, which allows him to clear his camps fairly well. You can do full clears around 320 to 330, similar to a mastery, and you'll be full HP. And Darius has great carry potential, just like he does as a top laner. And as a jungler, you have a slow and a hook, so. Pretty solid champ. We're gonna auto attack straight into Q. You should generally start W though, auto attack W reset. We only started Q because I thought we were gonna have to like fight to the death against multiple people, in which case your Q is much better for that since it's AoE damage and heal. Auto attack W reset. You can also cancel your W animation with your Q, so you can auto W Q and it's pretty much instant. Whenever your W kills something, it reduces its cooldown by 50% as well. Just some things to keep in mind. Super healthy farmer. You can go for Flash. Flash is a little bit better in ganks early on, but goes way out scales for team fights and for the late game as well. I really like his clears. Playing Darius jungle is a lot like playing Garen jungle, except Darius jungle I think is a little bit better. Darius jungle is a little bit better than Garen jungle for sure. It's because he has more CC. The only thing Garen has going over Darius is he's a little bit simpler of a champion. It has a lot less carry potential. If Garen's are reset, then They'd be pretty equal, but Darius has the R resets and Garen doesn't. Try to take these here at the same time. It's easier to pull the blue to the Gromp rather than the Gromp to the blue. Get our auto attacks on both of them to apply our burn. Auto attack and a Q tipper. And we just did a pre 315 full clear on Darius. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go kill Kench, we'll run past this scuttle. Is this warded or something? He doesn't have flash. Auto attack, double reset into the queue. He took a really greedy sum. Auto attack, W reset. I don't wanna steal any of his last hits, just, not, just trying to help him push the wave so he can reset. He's out of health and mana, he needs to just go back, spend his gold, get his corruptions back. Solo and Kindred is doable. It's gonna be hard without Ghost though. She can kite us out. So if she shows up, we have to leave immediately. Most likely she'll go bot side for her mark with that being said. If you're ever playing against a Darius jungle, you wanna make sure you have flash. That is the best way to outplay his hook. If you don't have flash, his hook is practically guaranteed. Plus if Tom Kent tried to start his dash, we would have pulled him right out of it. So he's absolutely screwed. First item rush. I usually like to go for tier two boots, but in this case, with the Yomu's build, that is absolutely not necessary. Instead, we're gonna pick up Serrated, give us way better clears, stronger ganks. And on top of that, it builds into the Yomu's. Out of combat movement speed, in combat movement speed, lots of damage. This is essentially your Predator, since Predator's kind of poop right now. After the Yomu's, you can look for Stride Break or for Chem Tank. They're both great options. Against melee heavy comp, Stride Breaker's better. Since they're so ranged heavy, I think I'm gonna go for Chem Tank. Yeah, 315 full clear. Holy cow, man. Full HP. This champ's actually kind of cracked. I'm going to have to play more Darius jungle. I might actually like him more than Nasus jungle. Problem with Nasus jungle is his first clear is legitimately slow as heck. Darius doesn't have that issue. Darius ganks are probably a little bit stronger than Nasus as well because of the hook. Nasus only has Wither. Wither is not quite as good as hook, at least level 1. Once the Wither's max, it's probably a little bit better. Auto attack W reset. 
before you hook in a perfect world, you want to get as close as you can. That way they can't flash it, and that way you slow them first with your W. You want to hook once you can no longer reach them with your attacks generally. Nimbus is really nice. I probably should have saved Smite so I could Smite a minion and speed up into him with the Nimbus Cloak. That would have made sense. I'm on a ward. We can't quite reach him. We weren't going to be able to run him down, so we're just going to throw out a max range hook and see if we can hit it. Auto attack W reset. I hope Kindred tries to fight. She'll get destroyed. Tom Kench is looking for the all in. GP oranges it. Tom Kench needs his one more auto attack. Auto attack W reset. Auto attack into the Q. We'll smite for the Nimbus. And this guy should be dead. Absolutely not going to R for a Tom Kench who's that low on health. It's pointless. Barely saved the Gepeppe there. I wonder if he was baiting or if that was just like lucky. It's hard to say. Kindred still hasn't had a successful gank and we have more CS than her. Kindred is not a good full clear style champion. Her full clear finishes around 335, 340 and it's not full HP. So in that sense, Darius is actually a way better jungler. Now, what Darius struggles with is escaping. He doesn't have good escape tools. His only escape tool is hooking them into you, which then afterwards slows them. That's your closest thing. Auto attack W reset. <laughs> I'm not even going to hook. We're going to keep autoing. The problem is, I mean, I'm not going to Q is what I meant to say. If we went for a Q, she could have just flashed it. And while you're queuing, you can't auto. So it was better for us to just keep our auto damage on her there. We'll ghost into him. Auto attack W reset. Q. We missed the Q. That was a huge waste of ghost since our E was on cooldown. If our E was up, that would have been pretty free. That was my mistake. We could kill Kindred here on her blue buff. She'll probably kite it towards her uh, thing as well. This actually looks really gankable. I'll go for that gank. How fast are they going to react to the kindred pings? Let's see. Not fast enough. Oh. I'll attack W reset into the Q. Auto E into the R. And we're out of there. Feels bad for kindred. Seraphine ignited us. It's not going to be enough. We should be able to take her blue and gromp. Preferably at the same time. Auto W reset. We'll keep a close eye on our bot lane. If they rotate, we'll have to back off. Once your R is max on Darius, it goes on a complete reset whenever you get a kill with it. But since it's not maxed out, it's not a full reset at the moment. We'll just recall from here. We'll go to our red buff from Fountain with Yumu. So we'll be there really fast. She might invade our red side. Yasuo has my top side covered, so we're fine. Out of combat, we are moving 414, very balanced. I'm gonna go ahead and max our E second, I believe. Yeah, your W gets almost nothing per level, a tiny little AD ratio scaling. Doesn't get any base damage, a lower cooldown, bigger slow, nothing. Your E per level gets on a lower cooldown, and it also gets more armor penetration. In reality, your W would be a better max if it actually gave some extra stats. Because in a fight, you generally only get to use your hook once. So the fight will be over before it's back up again. Kindred's so far behind. Darius' hook outranges her base auto attack range. If she's going to dodge your, your hook, she has to time her Q. Because technically, your hook does have a travel time. So if she starts her Q right as you start your E, she can escape it. But if she doesn't do that, she'll die. Because your hook slows. And then your W slows. She can't kite you out once the hook lands. Kindred R is not very good against Darius because of the way you stack your passive on her. She's going to come out of her R and bleed to death. Well, Yomus for this. She has tier 2 boots. Auto attack W reset will stay on her without using Q. Oh, I still have my R. Oh, he held me inside of him so long. I think I lost all my bleed stacks. Wow, Kench is kind of cracked, man. Look how much damage he did. 
He did over 1k damage. He did have Ignite to be fair, but oh, wow. Champ's kind of cracked. Is his R suppression? I think it is. I don't think Merc Treads do anything versus it. We might as well just go for Plated at that point or go for Lucidities. I'm feeling the Plated. At this point, I think we just go for... Uh, yeah, we'll go for Dead Man's. Dead Man's into Stride Breaker, Dead Man's. Or we could go into Force of Nature here, but I, I think I'd rather have uh, Stride Breaker for the AD. Might be a little bit better than Chem Tank. We'll go Dead Man's for mobility and damage. Dead Man's has a little bit of damage on it. It's also a fairly inexpensive item. Only 2,900. Well, Ghost for this. I must have been on award. Oh, you're so sneaky, Jen. You're so sneaky. Oh, he's actually going to get away. That's so stupid, dude. He's too sneaky. He's too freaking slippery. Can't believe he actually got away. He does have fast boots, but still. Yeah, just wait till we have dead mans. That won't be allowed once we do. That'll be illegal in Darius jungle country. <laughs> in Darius jungle kingdom. Seraphine, what are you doing though? Hey friend. I don't think you have flash, buddy. My R didn't kill her. How sad. This dude could... Wow, he chunks. I don't know where Kindred is. I need to heal off my wolves and we'll go for Gromp. Looks like GP traded with Kench. We really, 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 really need Wing Moonplate. Their team is extremely ranged heavy and we desperately need mobility to get on top of them. Stridebreaker will help us stay on top, but we got to get to them first. And we want to maximize our tools to do so. So currently we have the Yomu's active. Soon we'll have the Winged Moonplate and the Dead Man's. Plus that we have Ghost Blue Smite with the Nimbus. Ooh. I'll be taking this Kindred. Don't worry about it. Nice. Her blue buff's coming up. We could lay this top and wipe the turret. That's what we'll do with this. Bleed should finish it. The bleed damage is insane. This game I've been staying on certain camps way longer than I need to. The bleed is so freaking strong. I'm gonna have to Yomus for this. Auto WQ. Dude. Kench is doing way too much damage. He nearly just killed me. He auto he auto Q autoed R ignite. And that's like 1400 damage. He's not even fed. Oh, but you only have yo moves. Doesn't matter. I'm Darius. That shouldn't be possible. <laughs> that shouldn't be allowed. What is right thinking letting that slobbery toe do that to me? Kindred's so far behind. She's not going to be able to catch back up this game. I won't allow it. Oh, they got the wind drag. That's one of my favorites right now. Wish they didn't get that one. Added combat movement speed so good. So good for jungle just when you're walking around. Auto attack W reset. I think they're low, but they're underneath their turret. It's not easy for me to get to them. This isn't a dive Darius build. This is more of a gank build. Yeah, they're a little too healthy. I don't want to die for it. Pretty strong. We can clear pretty fast. There's no reason for us to die. Oh, 
Oh, that was an accident. Holy crap. It's a wasted hook. Oh, what's going on over here? Blue Smite, Auto W. Yeah, of course, Kindred's in the area. I guess that makes sense. Still might be able to one verse two. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to try to one verse three. I'm getting kited out by two ranged champs before I have my dead mans. This game is actually getting kind of close. I just realized we have a Nico eight bot lane AD carry. That's probably why it's close. <laughs> He's pretty fed though. Two of my teammates were diamond players. I wonder if that's the Nico. I don't know. I'd assume so. Probably the Nico and the GP. Cause that Karma build is poop. Essence Reaver on Karma or our Night Harvester. <laughs> It's not that good. You need mana. The item doesn't give any mana. Well, this is awkward. We might need to just give this dragon. GP doesn't want to come fight for it. I'm not going to die for it. Well, if Kench isn't here, we can do it. Auto attack double reset into Q. He used his Gale Force though. I went in immediately for the slow. Needed to land it. Teammates didn't follow up really at all. I think Dragon here isn't a bad call, especially since it's Ocean Drag. Every auto attack slows you. It's gonna hold us still for them. Oh, maybe they, maybe they know something I don't. Maybe Kindred is resetting. Got it. That is 3% missing health every 5 seconds. Not bad. But not good either. I'd much rather have Cloud Soul or Cloud Dragon. 7% out of combat movement speed and soul resistance is kind of nuts. Especially if you can get 3 of them. Got our dead mans. And at this point... Mm, yeah, we'll go Stride Break. It gives a movement speed too. Once you get in combat, dealing physical damage grants you 20 moves speed for 3 seconds. That's a decent amount. Plus passively all your completed items give you 2% bonus movement speed. And we already have 2 completed items, so we might as well. That'll be an extra 4%. We're already moving 480 out of combat, dude. Let's go. It's like Jono with freaking Moby's Max Zephyr. Hey friend, I'll attack the reset into the Q, pop him with the R, auto W E Q, auto W Q, auto W Q, you basically, you get to apply the slow and the auto reset off W and then instantly the Q cancels the full W animation and you give it to him dirty, come in with the Yomus. Let them have it. Give them the business. Auto W reset. Q. Blue smite. Where you gonna go, you fat toad? I didn't even need to hook him out of it. <laughs> he was missing so much health. <laughs> I really like Yomu's on 80 junglers. 80 melee junglers. It's nerfed for range champs. I'm pretty sure it is at least. Uh, maybe it's not. That's weird. Thought it was. Hey, friend. We're not going to auto reset first because I need the slow immediately. Yeah, I don't want to die for her. She's not very useful. She stays alive. It doesn't really change much. And I Plus, like we got her R. Well, Yom was for this. We're moving 530. Auto W reset into the queue. Save me! Shit me with that big fat charm. Good thing we have 30% tenacity from runes. Auto W reset Q. Yeah, don't even think about it, Yasuo. It's my time to shine. 
You can't even see the W. Check it out. Never mind, it's dead. We'll reset right here. We'll pop plant onto this little butthole if he goes for it. Yeah! I told you I would do it. And I did. I could smell him like a cockroach crawling towards me, trying to stop my recall. Whip him with the Q. <laughs> this is actually my favorite Darius build. It feels so nice. It's his best carry build for sure. Like if you're behind in gold, <laughs> you probably don't want to be building Yomus. But when you're ahead, this is the gas. You're putting gas straight into the engine. Certainly if you're behind, you should just go straight into your stride break or um, Trinity Force. Not a big fan of Trinity Force though. I prefer stride break or even gale force gale force isn't bad it does leave you really squishy though because it doesn't give any hp look at that movement speed oh my god 481 holy moly that's what i like the minions put me in combat so i lose the yomu's mobility someone's gonna walk into me right Oh, there's three of them. I'm not doing that. I'm going to get chain CC'd. Not playing those games. Look how smooth that animation is. Can the bleed out kill it from there? Not quiet. It's only two stacks, so if it was five, it definitely would have bled. With Force of Nature... We will, no joke, be moving over 500 movement speed. I'll go for a stride break first. We'll buy the winged moon play from force, and then we'll win the game. Guaranteed. Check it out. Oh. 505. They just got objective bounty. Kind of lame. In combat, we're moving really fast. Holy moly, 460 in combat. 490. Dude, stride break. That extra 20 movement speed. We're fast in combat and out of combat. <laughs> oh, we're, in eight. we're off really fast 80 Mordekaiser that has huge R resets. Best way to describe it. Mord has a hook. You have a hook. Mord has a big AoE Q. You have a big AoE Q. Except you also have a slow to help you land your stuff. Oh my god, I missed my hook. Probably wasn't going to be able to kill him anyway since uh, Victor was there. Chipepi, hmm. believe. Believe. Dude, we have 212 CS, 24 minute mark. That's right, baby. Let the bleed do the work. By the way, fun fact, I learned something new today. Apparently blood has a lot of protein in it. I believe it was 200 calories worth of blood, animal blood, was like 50 grams of protein, which is kind of nuts. Auto W reset Q, stride break. Oh, are you kidding me? Disgusting. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> That's so lame. We got cheated. Absolutely cheated. Yeah, we could definitely two-man Baron. I heal off of it with my Qs. It's funny because I have yo moves, but <laughs> we're actually pretty tanky. 3k HP with a lot of armor. Our passive shredding it, and we're only doing half damage right now because we're the one tanking it. Whoever's tanking Baron does 50% reduced damage. 
Oh, Yasuo, you're tanking, buddy. You're gonna die. Got it. Oh, I can't afford my Force of Nature. I gotta hang around for a little bit. We could look for Sorrel Does or Black Cleaver. We need some kind of percent base shred. With percent base shred, even no matter how much armor tank builds, you can cut through them. GP randomly dying. That's not good. Nico finds a pick. Cool. Auto W reset. See how fast we are. Moving 517. Hey friends. I don't want to lose my lose my movement speed by auto attacking. I can keep it off the dead man's if I don't auto here. I'll lose it from the Yomu's out of combat, but dead man's is pretty good too. This is a weird fight to force. We could just play for dragons. Their team's not easy to kill, is the thing. They have a lot of AoE and team fighting abilities on their team. So, this isn't really easy to force an end on. Look at that. Oh, baby. I'll let Yasuo have red. He hasn't been trying to steal my camps from me as I'm taking them like so many others would do. I don't remember if he was a diamond player or not. Yeah, I guess we take a uh, dragon now. These guys aren't really willing to contest us for anything. Ayo, Darius is a seal. They're not willing to contest. They're trying to turtle. As long as we don't throw shutdowns, they can't win. Because we can get all the dragons. Flame dragons are insane on crit champions like Yasuo as well. Because crits double, more than double damage if they have IE. He should just take R red at this point. Doesn't look like he wants to though. All right, we are now, oh wait, this gives the same amount of movement speed as uh, as the winged moon plate. So we're gonna be moving still like 510 out of combat without using Yomu's. If we're on Yomu's, we'll be moving like 530-ish. We'll take these at the same time. The enemies aren't really getting camps anymore, which means their junglers having to split CS with them. Meanwhile, me and my teammates are getting both sides of the jungle. Yeah, about 510. Pretty happy with that. We're also level 18, which is sweet. There it is. We get the ghost extensions. GP almost gets a kill question mark. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel all right now. Oh, that actually hit me. Got a blue smite on him, and we are schmoving, dude. Holy smokes. We are moving and grooving. <laughs> We're so fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're too fast. I didn't even use my Yomus. Ah! <laughs> he tasked away. Remove Gale Force Riot. It shouldn't be in the game. Anything that stops Darius from landing hook needs to be removed ASAP. GG's well played. Let's take a look at the graphs. Absolute disgusting 1v9 jungler. Way better than something like Zinzao or Warwick in the late game. Looking at damage ultimate enemy champion, we were second highest in the game. Well played to GP there. Kench was... Wait, Kench did more than me. We're not going to talk about that. Damage taken, we took the most in the game. If we look at self-mitigated, Kench is going to have more though because he went tank. 
Wait, we saw, wow, okay. We actually took the most damage in the game, but somehow Kench did more damage. That doesn't make any sense. And then for runes, really high value. Conqueror never looks like it heals that much, but the extra AD it gives is massive. I absolutely love this Darius build. It is way too much fun, seriously. I, I don't, I really have this much fun playing League. Like on a scale of one to 10, this is a 10 for me. So I hope you guys give it a try. I think you'll have a blast with it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.